back to my first video on Toys to the Max. The toy I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is the Tiny Wubble Bubble Ball. What the Tiny Wubble Bubble Ball is, is it's basically just a Wubble Bubble Ball, tiny sized and shadow sized. It comes in six different colors. It comes in blue, pink, red, purple, green, and orange. It says that it inflates in seconds and there's no pump needed. Take your Wubble Bubble Ball anywhere. It includes one tiny Wubble Bubble Ball, which is the actual toy, one nozzle, which is the inflation um, tool, and one detailed instruction packet, which is just the instruction manual. So, um, let's open this thing up and see what it's all about. Okay, so on the inside, I see the actual Wubble Bubble Ball. The Wubble Bubble Ball it has like a weird texture to it. It's like, not like sticky, but it's like rubbery and like stretchy. It's kind of smooth, but it's a little bit like ruggedy, if you know what I mean. Like you can like, like see that my hand's not totally just going on it. It's kind of like, you know, but it's a weird texture, but it's nothing like weird or it's not and nothing like bad. It's just the texture of it just to make it seem more like a bubble, I guess you could say. And then on the inside, there is the next part, which is the nozzle, which is the like inflation tool that you stick into the wobble bubble ball. And then there is, of course, the instruction guide. So um, on the instruction guide, the instructions basically say, basically just say, like it says, like keep it away from sharp things like branches or forks or like, and like bushes and like don't play with your dogs and cats and stuff like that. Just to like h h let you know, like it will pop. It it's not like exactly like a bubble where it's that easy to pop. It's harder to pop, but it will still pop. Um, and then it has um, inflation, um, an inflation guide, and a deflation guide. So first, I'm going to read you guys the inflation rules, or steps. So it says, hold the wobble bubble ball firmly by the valve. The valve is a little hole here, and it says, and insert the nozzle completely into the valve. So... Let me get my nozzle out of its packaging. So, um, in the picture here, it looks like the boy is putting this, um, like, um, oval-shaped hole part into the wobble ball, and then using this to get the air into it. So, I'm going to stick this into it. So, I'm going to hold it by the valve, by the hole, and I'm going to make sure that the, the whole entire... Um, oval shaped hole gets in there so that none of the air gets out. So, um, and then it says, holding the wobble bubble ball in one hand and the nozzle in the other, blow until the wobble bubble ball has reached uh, 12 inches around. So, I guess now you just blow. It's a lot like blowing up a balloon, except you're blowing it through like a straw thing. at about 12 inches around and then once you're done it says you're gonna pull the um, nozzle right out of it and it just kind of like seals itself at the hole it just kind of closes itself so you don't need, really need to do anything after that and then it just enjoy it and kind of like play with it this is actually surprisingly a lot a lot a lot like the bigger wobble bubble ball because in the past I have had the bigger wobble bubble ball and 
This is a lot like it. Besides the color and the size, it's the same exact kind of texture. It's kind of like, is like the same exact kind of like, like you can play with it the same. It like, you can do the same things with it. Like you can like bounce it. You can make it fly. You can squish it. And it's a really like fun thing to play with. So if you're looking for something like this, I definitely recommend the Wubble Bubble Ball because it's a really, really good product. And it also says on the instructions that always when you're not using it, deflate it just so that it doesn't get damaged or popped. So now I'm going to show you guys how to deflate it. The deflation instructions are also on the manual. So it says, insert the nozzle into the valve as you did when you were inflating it. So I'm going to hold the valve the same way, take my oval shaped hole part of the nozzle and stick it in. Again, I'm going to make sure the whole entire um, circle gets into the wubble bubble ball. And then it says, squeeze the wubble bubble ball until all the air is released. Oh, so I guess it's just going to come out the little hole at the top. And oh, it fell out. And then it looks like you're just going to squeeze just to kind of help it a little bit. Not too much that it like breaks it or damages it, but just kind of squeeze it a little bit just so that all the air gets out of it. And it kind of helps the wobble bubble ball just so that it's not all just coming out gradually through this tiny hole. I don't like help it come out. It doesn't take very long to deflate, which is good. So now it's back to its regular size, and then once again, just pull it out. And um, one thing, it's a really good product. One thing I would say about it is a lot, there's a lot of small parts to it, and it might just be a little bit harder to keep track of all those parts. Um, that you need for it. That's the only thing I would like to critique a lot for this. It might be a little bit hard to keep track of all of it, but that's not such too big of a deal. Besides, I'm sure that even if you lost this, you could probably just like stick a straw in it or something like that. Um, I don't think this is, has anything special. It's just something that they made with it. Um, but other than that, I think it's really good. So, um, on a scale to um, 1 to 5, 1 being the worst, 5 being the best, I probably give this a 4 and 3 quarter stars. Now, I'm not that bad of a critique. It's not just because you might lose it. It's also because in the past, I have had the bigger one, and it has popped pretty easily. Like, all the ones I've had, they've either gotten in a hole in it, or they've been damaged. And, or like have a, had a rip in it or something. And I don't know if it's the same with the tiny wubble blah, 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 blah. It might be just because it's kind of the same exact kind of product. But it might not be. Maybe it's just what it is when it's bigger, you know, because there's more air in it. It's kind of harder to maintain. But other than that, I think this is a really fun product to play with. And I would definitely buy this if you're looking into it. It's a really good product to buy. So I'm just going to put all my tools back in my box to keep them all together. And um, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to tune in next Friday for my next toy review. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want me to review next. Thanks for watching.